Now we continue our series of reports to help you decode labels. During the last hour of the morning show, we explained the difference between organic, cage-free, and regular eggs. We tackled milk, too. Now, what about when you see some of those same organic labels on things you don't eat, like um, shirts? <laughs> Mel's back, so what do these types of labels actually mean? All right, guys, so let's try to break this down because this can also be very confusing because you see a, a lot of these same labels on non-food items that are organic, like organic makeup or lotions, even organic vodka. Is that really better for you? I'm still doing the research on that one, so I'll get back with you. <laughs> but first, let's take a look at some of these organic things. So labeled organic, according to the USDA, they meet certain requirements by the USDA. These products must, for example, improve soil and water quality, minimize the use of synthetic materials. And some experts do believe that these products are safer for your family because they don't have certain chemicals that have been found to be harmful at higher levels. So here's a tool that you can use though. The Environmental Working Group or the EWG has an app where you can scan products and get a better understanding of what chemicals are in them. You can see if there's maybe a health warning about the product and take a look at if there is a better choice. According to the FDA, just because a cosmetic says that it's made with organic ingredients doesn't mean it's safer. Using this app though is a better choice so that you can kind of get more information and decide what you want. Okay, what about those organic cotton shirts? or towels, for example. A paper written by the Pesticide Action Network labeled cotton the dirtiest agricultural commodity. It uses $2 billion in pesticides and accounts for 16% of global insecticide use. So if it's certified organic, the soil must be free from chemicals for at least three years. It also has to meet certain USDA requirements. So keep in mind, though, organic farmers still use natural pesticides. So if you're concerned about that it might be worth looking into organic cotton but keep in mind again it's going to cost you anywhere from 20 to 30 percent more than just a traditional cotton shirt so organic or not it is up for debate depending on what's important to you whether or not you can afford it when it comes to these non-food items as well but again keep in mind that ewg app it is super helpful and very easy to use just kind of open up the phone camera you scan it and there you go Makes it easy. A little homework. Yeah, yeah, just a little homework goes a long way.